Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. 41-year-old Anthony Collins of Belfry and 50-year-old Ida Castle of Inez are each facing a charge of first-degree robbery. They're accused of taking part in a shoplifting incident at the People's Clothing Store at Southside Mall in South Williamson, February 22nd. A security guard at the mall was injured during the course of the incident. He, he was trying to, trying to recover the merchandise and also trying to detain the shoplifter, and the shoplifter had gained entrance inside of the vehicle, and he told the, uh, the female driver which uh, ended up being Ida Castle to floor it go, and she did, and in the course of that, he was dragged. Anthony Collins was arrested the following day. The arrest came during the course of another shoplifting incident in which Collins is believed to have stolen items from Hibbett Sports at the mall. Ida Castle was eventually arrested in West Virginia and was extradited back to Kentucky last week. Pike County Sheriff's Office Detective Brian Connolly said the people's shoplifting incident escalated when the security guard attempted to stop Collins and Collins' vehicle sped away, dragging the security guard in the process. The definition of robbery is a use of force or threat of use of force during the act of a commission of theft. Uh, they ran outside and actually, when he was dragged by the vehicle, that was a use of force and it resulted in a minor injury to his left arm. So that would have been the appropriate charge for it. Collins and Castle, both of whom are lodged in the Pike County Detention Center, could face up to 10 years in prison on the Class C felony charge of first-degree robbery from Peebles. Collins also faces up to five years in prison on the theft charges filed in the investigation from Hibbett Sports. Reporting in Pike County for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.